Hello and welcome to CCIEadvisor.com. In this lesson we will be discussing the absolute command with reference to time range and also the Cisco IOS. Now um, what you're going to want to use the absolute command with is you're going to use it to apply an access list at a future time or make it end at a future time and um, it's really convenient especially if you are going to be away or you want to make sure it happens when you can't get to the router. Um, let's go ahead and, and get started and we're on a Cisco router right now. So we'll go ahead and go into configure terminal mode and take, take a look at the time range command. It's looking for a word. We'll go ahead and call this let's call this Monday. Monday. Okay. Now with this command we're going to want to have it uh, used on an IP access list sometime in the future. We can either make it start or end um, with this command absolute like I said start or end and let's go ahead and just make it start at a certain time hours and minutes so we can go ahead and say 12 what day um, let's do it on Monday right because we named it Monday that makes sense Monday will be the 8th on our calendar on our clock that we have on this router the month we can abbreviate with uh, three digit three letters February and we'll use 2010 and you can add an ending to this or not and I don't want to make it end at any time but it'll be the same syntax now at this point we want to create an access list because it will be applied to an access list so this isn't an access list lesson necessarily. Go to configure terminal and we'll use an extended access list IP access list extended and we'll name it our favorite product Cisco and what we'll do is we can allow UDP to anywhere from anywhere through an interface so we'll say permit UDP from anywhere to anywhere from and to and here's our time range command so now we're going to have to remember the word what we called it and the syntax needs to be correct it'll say word see so we called this Monday with lowercase Now we're going to have to apply it to an interface, of course, and we can do a show IP interface brief. It's gigabit one zero, I believe. Gigabit one zero right now. We'll apply it to that. Configure terminal interface gigabit one zero and to apply an access list access group in the name which was Cisco and we still want to know do we want it inbound or outbound let's say that we're going to allow UDP from anywhere to anywhere inbound this interface carriage return now if you want to see it, show time, and I'll make this another separate command altogether, but show time range, and of course you have to have the clock or NTP set up for this to be, to work with the darn. So show time range, it's inactive, but that's not bad because it's not February the 8th yet. So um, if we log back in on the 9th and I do a show time range, it will say active so we know that this isn't affecting any traffic so if you're having problem on the interface now it's probably something else you did or bad cable so Monday inactive 
the name was Monday if you remember absolute start date was 12 February the 8th 2010 and we use this with an IP ACL entry and like any good network administrator write it to memory and we are done thank you for joining CCIEadvisor.com for this lesson on the time range commands and the absolute commands